Mount Pleasant Town Center could be getting more retail, green space and housing in the future. Our Caitlin Ashball joining us live there now to break down a two hour meeting held earlier today where leaders workshopped the idea. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Michael. Well, town leaders, they want to continue fueling the idea of a town center that acts as a hub for the community. And the way that they're hoping to do that is by adding more growth to this area that makes it stand out from any other shopping center across the low country. This morning, they held a meeting where they talked about the plans that could be in place very soon to transform parts of the center into attainable housing, green space, parking and business opportunities. On today's item specifically, owners workshop the idea of adding 421 living units into the center and some raised parking rather than lot options. Some were concerned about adding more housing to the area with surrounding CCSD schools, but leaders there say it wouldn't cause any extreme impacts to student populations at Moultrie Middle, but it could affect Lucy Beckham High and Whitesides Elementary. That's something that officials took from today's meeting. The response comes from shopping malls and centers like this one that have diminished in popularity over time. Officials say this would split them from similar spaces in the low country and create multi-generational impact for the community as a hub, which also falls in line with the town's comprehensive plan. This is Mount Pleasant's equivalent to the Union Pier track in Charleston. This is 52 acres. It's the largest business center that we have, and we want to get this right. Well, while today's meeting was a special council meeting, it was more of a workshop opportunity to get an idea of some I suggestions for the center. I'm told that these would be done in phases over the next few years. This wouldn't be something that's very immediate, and I'm also told that the goal is that they can work out these considerations beforehand and then send them into public comment. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.